I'd like to tell you about my favourite rhythm game, one I might not have the most amount of playtime on, but the one that has the biggest space in my heart. A game with a simple control scheme, with deceptively hard mechanics, filled with stories that everyone can relate to, from the struggles of doctors and nurses being overworked and understaffed, the trials of addiction, and even just the nature of being separated from a loved one. Today, I want to talk to you about Rhythm Doctor, the one-button rhythm game that made me cry. Rhythm Doctor is an early access title released onto Steam in 2021 from 7th Beat Games. They've been working on this game since 2016, and I've been following for the same amount of time. Released as an itch.io demo in 2016 after originally being a student project, I played the demo so much, I could perfect each stage with my eyes closed. They already had a perfect foundation with the demo, so the bar was high for its release, and I can safely say it's a masterpiece, even in its unfinished state. The concept is simple, just press the spacebar on the 7th beat, you're able to see the beat moving, and in earlier levels, it'll help you count. The complexity comes not from adding more buttons, but from changing the way that you interact with the button. From hiding notes, meaning you have to count or feel the rhythm yourself, to messing up your audio cues with distractions and static. The first boss fight is a perfect example of this. Partway through the fight, the virus inhabiting him starts to fight back, and hard. The combination of beat repetition to throw you off, static both visually and audibly to make you lose focus, it's all done so well whilst keeping the rhythm flow. Or how about another one that messes with your game window, forcing you to basically entirely rely on audio cues. The levels are laid out into wards. At the time of writing, there are five acts, each with three or four songs, and with most of them having a night shift version that's harder. As you progress through the wards, different musical timings and theory come into play. Rhythm Doctor has you interact with and learn many musical theory patterns without even realizing you're learning them, like polyrhythms, offbeats, hemiolas, and irregular time signatures. The ingenious way that this game teaches you the flow and timing of these musical mechanics without ever adding in another button is unreal. One Ward has patience with specific heart timing issues and as such introduces swing rhythms with variable pacing. So instead of counting and waiting for the seventh beat, reacting to visual and audio cues are vital to performing well. It's all tutorialized incredibly and you can definitely feel confused when they're introducing new mechanics in the level tutorials. But that confusion shortly fades away when you start playing and just feel the rhythm. Music is the greatest unifier of the human race in my opinion. Almost everyone has a sense of rhythm, from tapping your leg to humming a tune. Everyone has the potential and ability to vibe with the same kinds of rhythms that have been going since humans first invented instruments. And this game's simple control scheme and well-composed soundtrack creates an incredibly natural response in people. One aspect I love about this game that reinforces the natural rhythm that's innate in people is that if you're having a difficult time in a level, just close your eyes. For new players, it might seem weird, as you could just be relying on the visual cues, but the game gives you ample audio cues to get through any level. Close your eyes and just feel the rhythm. I like to bob my head to it. Some people tap their feet, some people keep counting their heads. I promise you, if there's a level you're stuck on and the visual distractions are getting to you, just close your eyes. Even if you think you have two less thumbs when it comes to playing instruments, I promise you that some level of innate rhythm will help you here. The music is fantastic too, covering a broad range of styles, acoustic guitar pieces, heartfelt ballads, banging electronic music, and collaborations with other games that change up the style even more. The music is great enough to listen to on its own, but the soundtrack version of the songs is missing one key thing, the instruction rhythm, the hi-hats tapping out the beat for you. Take level 3-1, where a boy is observing a bird. The instrumental track on its own is beautiful, but add in the sounds used for rhythm tracking, being the hi-hat and the bird chirp, and it becomes fantastic. The same can be said for so many other levels. 
The instrumentals on their own are wonderful, but with the incredibly smart and well done timing guidance instrumentation, you end up preferring the ones with guidance over the raw instrumentals. There's also a custom level maker, far more than a simple beat map editor. All the cool tools that developers use to make the levels look beautiful and throw you off with visual mechanics are all available to the community, and they've made some outstanding creations already. One aspect of relatability is the story. There are bits of an overarching story, but really the game is based on the personal tales it can tell. As mentioned, the game is still in early access, so not all the levels and stories are in it, but the ones that are in are just detailed enough for you to understand what they're going through, but just blank enough for you to put aspects of your personal life into. Like level 1-2, a young boy with a broken heart, set to a beautiful acoustic guitar song, until the person that they were hurt by is put into the same ward as them, becoming a duo piece feeding off each other. Or level 2-2, a music artist with heart problems caused by too much caffeine, but he feels he can't make music without it, represented by varying tempo due to irregular heartbeats from the caffeine, touching on addiction and the things we do to ourselves for an end goal, and especially the boss of Act 3, a song about a doctor's breakdown on shift because they're at their limit, working all of the time and are unable to give their patients proper care because of how overworked they are, and how many relationships have been damaged by them not being able to socialize or interact with people in their life due to work. There's also many upbeat and quirky stories and songs, so don't let my overrepresentation of the emotional ones mislead you from the genuine variety this game holds. Those are just the ones that had the most impact for me. There are multiple more heartfelt stories in this game that I don't want to spoil, because they impacted so much on me. But the commentary laid out in this game is plain to see. Whilst the developers are based in Malaysia, the statements about the medical systems apply globally. As someone based in the UK with friends and family that work in the National Health Service, I've seen firsthand what working to help others does to people. When politicians cut budgets and disrespect the hard work that these people do every day just so they can line their pockets or lobby for a third party company to make them money. Staff underpaid and overworked just for next week to be treated even worse. With that unfortunately off tangent and sour note, I'd like to round up my thoughts on Rhythm Doctor. If you like rhythm games, buy it. If you're vaguely interested in the idea of rhythm games, buy it. If you want to support independent developers, you already know what I'm going to say. Rhythm Doctor is a masterpiece. I said it at launch when the first three acts were released in 2021. I'm saying it again now when Act 5 has been released. And I'll say it again whenever the final two or three acts come out. This is one of those games that makes me happy video games exist. It won't change your life. But it might have been made a little bit better for passing through it. The passion and devotion from this team is obvious. I'm proud to be a day one supporter of both Rhythm Doctor and their other game, A Dance of Fire and Ice. And whatever they do after that, I'll be there day one. Thanks for getting to the end. This is a shorter one because I would much rather people experience the brilliance of this game for themselves. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. Channel memberships are available if you're feeling generous. But remember, fight for your right to healthcare. Fight for the respect of every single person that works in the medical industry. Fight so that politicians don't cut up hospitals into chunks of money available for the highest bidder. Fight for human rights and respect. Trans rights are human rights. Support Ukraine and free Palestine. Thank you for watching. To all the friends that I have lost While crossing bridges I have crossed Tennis weddings, coffee sessions Sorry I was never there You see I've been in call this week I'm bad at getting any sleep I'd love to catch up I really would, but they've been waiting for so long.